What, what year is this uh, Dodge? 71 Charger SE. Uh huh. And it's for sale. I, I see two big block Camaros, which is kind of exciting. So interestingly, we have two 68 Camaros here, both identical cars. So for $10,000 a piece, this is worth looking at. I'm Tom Cotter. The first car I found, I was 12 years old. I'm 61 years old now and I'm still finding cars. That's a rare car. I, mean, I don't know when the last time I saw one of these. And in this series, you'll see that there are still plenty of cars left. Riding down Highway 68, I guess it's 68 right here, and just yeah. having a glance over the right side. A motorcycle shop, oh, that's cool. Oh, there's old cars, that's cool too. So what do you have back here? What, what year is this uh, Dodge? 71 Charger SE. Uh-huh, and it's for sale. Yes, sir. What motor's in here? Uh, 383 Magnum. Can you open the hood? Yeah. So you went through that motor. Oh, look at that. So you got a new air conditioning compressor. Right, 134. 383. The air conditioning system's new, you know. Uh -huh. um, yeah, it's 383 Magnum. It's a matching number car. And it's uh, an automatic. I did suspension, undercarriage, all new brakes. Mm -hmm. uh, Front disc? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the only thing I didn't replace on the brake system was the hard line that goes to the back. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, new drums and the brakes are done. And this at one time had a vinyl roof from here to here, I guess. Yep, uh -huh. and the, the trim for right here is laying right Oh, there, there it is right there, okay. So what do you what do you ask for this car? I see 15K on there, is that what you're asking? That's, you know, I've got 12.5 in it, so reasonable offer over 12.5. Really? That's what I'll take, yeah. This is a 1971 Dodge Charger SE. Haggerty says that you can uh, buy one in good condition for about $19,000. I'd say this is, is better than fair, so I'd say this one's in good condition. For a 1971 car, it's pretty darn solid. It's got a rebuilt motor, rebuilt air conditioning system, rebuilt brakes, rebuilt front end. So it's, it's at least in good condition. Uh, remember, it offers over 12500 he'll accept on this car. So uh, if it were in concourse condition, it would be $36,000. So, you know, if this car, you could reasonably get to a really nice condition for probably not much more than that. You know, there's not much chrome on the car. The body is really solid. So a good paint job, a, a re-interior job, and a detail on the suspension and the chassis, some new wheels and tires. And this car could be concourse car for for right around uh, what it's valued at, which is rare these days. These days, usually you have to spend four times as much as a car is worth to get it in concourse condition. Okay, so you got a DeSoto back here. Yeah. 56 four-door. Yeah, it's, uh, that'd be a good parts car if a guy's building a two-door or something, because the front end clip is worth something. Voila, a Hemi. Yeah. That's a 331 Hemi with the bolt-off bell housing. That, that engine is like a 750-pound motor. Yeah, the air cleaner, the the original wheels and hubcaps and everything are in the trunk. So right now you got aftermarket wheels on here. Yeah, it was just rollers. So you got a title for this car? Yes. Now it's a four door, but you know that doesn't matter much anymore. I mean, I pe know. people are building four doors. I mean, the that's only bad glass is right here. This flat glass. Yep. You know, I mean, it's, it's pretty damn good. Boy, that's a solid car. Yeah. You've had this running? No. Never had it running. So what are you asking for this? I've I've got 2,500 in it. So any reasonable offer over 2,500. That's assuming that they're going to use this car. Yeah, not not other to break than it up. Just rob yeah. the drivetrain. Yep. Did you uh, pull the dash apart? Uh, no, a kid did that. Uh -huh. He was going to rewire. It's oh boy. But it's all here. <laughs> uh huh. Well, 2,500 bucks. I mean, like you know, Hemi's go for that much money. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's. What I thought, I thought the uh, drivetrain was well worth it. Yep. Well, maybe somebody watching this video will uh, want to buy this car. This is Good. pretty cool.
This is a 56 DeSoto Fire Dome. The Haggerty price guide has it in fair condition, valued at $5,000. Now remember, this one is any offer over $2,500. So this is probably fair condition. So probably full retail value of this car would be $5,000. Fully restored in concourse condition, a four-door has a value of about $18,000. You could not restore this car for anywhere near $18,000. But you know, we know the trend is to drive cars that look like this. Put new seats in it, make sure the driveway, the drivetrain is, is sound, rebuild the brakes, the hydraulics, and just drive it as is. You know, like you don't have to worry about parking it in, in a shopping center and getting door dings or anything. So this would be a, a, a pretty decent car to pick up and just enjoy and have fun with real cheap. Hi, right, Cliff. This is Tom Cotter. I'm, I'm looking at your uh, cars here. All right. Well, I'm walking in your in the second room here, and I'm, I, I see uh, two big block Camaros, which is kind of exciting. This this black one is that a factory big block? Most of those are factory big blocks. I bought the one furthest back in that room, brand new in '68, from a friend of mine in Needles, California, and I've owned it. I sold it to my brother, and then he sold it to a guy, and I tracked it down and bought it back again. So they were, they're they both 396 factory air, 400 hydro, uh, Raleigh Sport, Super Sport cars. So this one, the blue, this, the blue one you bought new, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, I bought it new. Man, so 396 factory, and, and I guess the black one is an RSSS? It's an RSSS. And it was hit on the back, but the new quarter is there to fix it in the trunk lid. And that was also, a, uh, I think that was red and black new. The other one was kind of that gunmetal blue-gray when I bought it. And still is, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Are, are these cars for sale? Uh, yeah. What, what would you ask for, say, this black one here with the, with the new quarter panel included? Yeah, with the new panel and the deck lid and everything, probably somewhere around ten grand. Ten grand, and you, you have a clean title for that? Yes, yes. Okay, so ten grand for the for the blue one as well, and the and the blue one, you have an engine for it? I think I have the short block somewhere, but the head's got lost by a, a body shop. But yeah, I have I have a couple of them. When you get to the other shop, uh, got. 427s, 396s, 454s. I'm a very sick man. <laughs> <laughs> I guess in more ways than one today. Wow. Yeah. Geez. So, so you'd get rid of the car that you bought new. No kidding. Really good. Now, uh, the 57 four-door that's next to the black car. And I, I guess Nancy told us that you have several 57s that were purchased uh, yeah, in one I lot. Have, I have four of them. Mm -hmm. You want to sell all four in one lot? I bought them all four in one lot, so yeah, I possibly would. Oh, that's cool. Now, there's one Mopar in here, a 340 Duster. That has a 360 in it. it I have the four-speed, I have the automatic, and I took a Doug Nash six-speed out of that. Jeez. Car. Well, it seems like a very solid car, if you, you know, even though it's a Mopar. <laughs> all right, listen, we'll give you a call in a, few, in a little while, all right? Anytime. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. So we have two rare Camaros here. Interestingly, they're just about the same car. They're both 1968 Camaros. They're both 396 big blocks. They're both factory air conditioning. They're both SS package and RS package. So probably the, probably the rarest and most desirable combination. So what's, what's the value of one is the value of the other. Now, if you remember, when we talked to Cliff on the phone, he wants 10000 a piece for them. 
uh, I think that's probably a pretty good deal because in fair condition, it's worth about $34,500. In excellent condition, about $60,000. And in concourse condition, almost $82,000. So this car is the original owner car. He, he bought it new. This car seems solid as is. The floors, the rocker panels, it's, it's an Arizona car. Um, this car, the black car, has got a crunched in quarter panel. Apparently it was wrecked a long time ago, but it includes a brand new quarter panel in the box. So this one needs more fabrication, but uh, two, two rare cars here. Very, if you're a Camaro guy, you're gonna take a, a good hard look at these two cars. This is a rare one. An Impala convertible with a big block. It's a 454, air conditioned, fully loaded car that has never been modified. I mean, to find a car that's a big block, it's never had headers put on it, never had high rise intake manifold or big carburetors. This car is original down to the factory air cleaner, the decals on the uh, firewall, on the air conditioning compressor. This car, even though it is in Arizona, is not a rust free car. I look at the uh, dealer tag in the back, it was from Illinois, which explains the rust. There's rust in the, in the uh, quarter panel, maybe under the floor. This car, uh, if in fair condition, which I would say probably this is fair condition, is valued by the Haggerty Price Guide at $19,000. In concourse condition, is roughly twice that. Haggerty estimates the value of this car in a concourse condition with the big block, with the air conditioning, at $40,000. So I'm not sure what Cliff's asking for this, but if the price were reasonable, this this would be a bad car to uh, consider buying and and restoring. Cars that are sitting outside are probably not worth pursuing anymore because if they've been outside for a long time they're rusty and picked over and everybody else has seen them too. But by going to a small town and meeting the locals, having dinner in that small town, having breakfast in that small town, talking to people that live there, you can find cars that are not visible from the street. You can go inside buildings and find rare cars that are just sitting there with a roof over them in much better condition. This morning we woke up, didn't know what we were going to find. After breakfast, we just took a little search around town. Within an hour, we found two big block 68 Camaro factory air conditioned cars sitting in a building, both available. If we could find that in an hour, so can you. Happy hunting. Wow. Wow. How do I how do I pick that? Okay, okay, Doc. <laughs> These are jumping joyous and they're ter terrible. Man, that's stuck right in my skin. Yes. I do this all for you, by the way. Oh. Oh. I can't even see it. Yeah. Are they like porcupine? <laughs> <laughs> what a way to say hello. Yeah. <laughs>